Hello everyone, welcome to our NCA and POS SEM tutorial video series. My name is Fan. I am currently working with Professor Nicole as the PhD research fellow. And this tutorial video series is one of the efforts in promoting the further diffusion of the combined usage of POS, SEM and NCA. In the next videos, we assume that you are already equipped with PLS SEM fundamental knowledge and that you have some understanding towards NCA as well. While we will not repeat too much about the basics here due to time concerns, we will still quickly walk you through some of the most important points just to refresh your memories and then to make the whole series more complete. Necessary condition analysis is a method of data analysis developed by Professor Yang Do, and the first publication came out in 2016. By definition, the dependent construct or outcome can only be achieved if the necessary cause is in place or is at a certain level. Researchers who refer to this logic use expressions such as x is necessary for y or x is needed for y. Now, what if the necessary condition is not there? The answer is very simple. Then the result will not occur. So to summarize, a necessary condition is a must-have condition if you want to achieve an outcome. But notice its presence does not guarantee the presence of the outcome, but its absence will guarantee the failure of the outcome. Where do we find the necessary condition? What is a necessary condition? Here are some examples in daily life. First of all, let's see, here we, ha we have an example of X is necessary for Y, which is Internet is necessary for watching this video. Without Internet, you cannot load this video. While the presence of the necessary condition, having the Internet does not guarantee the outcome because you probably don't have the time or you probably don't have a digital device to watch this video, but the absence of X, you not having the internet, will make it not possible for the outcome you watch in this video. Another example, milk is necessary for making non-vegan cheese. While having just the milk is probably not enough because there are tons of other things that we need in order to get to have a cheese, but not having milk, we will not have cheese. So you see, a necessary condition is an enabler, but it is also a bottleneck. Now let's see an, another example in academia. This is from Professor Nichols, another NCA publication in 2022. Political stability of a country is a necessary location factor for FDI inflows into the country. It would be unrealistic to assume that firm, firms will invest in new manufacturer sites in countries where there are a lot of wars. That is a lack of political stability. So the necessary condition here is the political stability. It is needed for the outcome, the FDI inflows to happen. Through the examples that we just discussed, necessary logic seems to be quite straightforward and highly relevant, but we are probably not trained to identify necessary conditions in our own environment. There are many formulations of this theoretical mechanism between X and Y. For example, X is needed for Y, X is crucial for Y, X is essential for Y, X is a requirement for Y, it is a pre-request, it is a precondition, it allows Y, enables Y, there must be an X in order to have an Y, X constrains Y, X limits Y, X blocks Y. It looks like there are a lot of words, but here we have a nice table where you can see the typical expressions used to express necessities are here. This is quite useful, especially when you start to do your own NCA projects, because with this relatively new necessity logic, you do not have a lot of well-established theories that are already talking about this logic. When you go through articles, you probably find some arguments that are necessity-like, and the authors are using exactly these expressions in a table to talk about necessity. Then it is easier and more clear for you to identify if there is a nece necessary thinking in your field. Let's say now if I have in mind some necess necessity association between necessary conditions and the outcome, 
How do I test and how do I support my argument? First, we need theoretical support. Like for every other research, hypothesis and data collection regarding necessary conditions need to be grounded in theory, stating why the condition is necessary for an outcome. You may refer to the table that we just discussed uh, when you do your literature review to identify the theories or necessity-like arguments. Please note that while the following videos focus on practical illustrations, theory development on necessities is a key aspect of your study. Because as we mentioned, necessary condition analysis is still relatively new, and then there, are, there aren't a lot of uh, well-established theories in this that are already talking about this logic, hence the opportunity to contribute to the theories. Okay, and, and here we have a very nice example on theorizing on necessity in international business. This is Professor Nichols, another publication, 2022. I recommend you to check this article after this video. Okay, now assume we have our theory ready. What else do we need to do? We need to make sure that our practical significance and statistical significance can pass the NCA tests. Normally, the rule of thumb is to have an effect size larger than 0.1 and a p-value smaller than 0.05. For the last two criteria, we will talk about them in detail later. Which software can we use to conduct NCA? Previously, the options are quite limited. You may see that researchers were using R, but now NCA can also be done in Smart PLS 4. This is a new version of the software to identify necessity in a software environment. PLS, uh, Smart PLS 4 can be used to perform NCA on individual level, individual items, but also you can use it to perform uh, NCA in combination with an PLS SEM. The combination of PLS SEM with NCA in Smart PLS will be our focus in the next videos. For researchers who still prefer to use R, here is some uh, references that you can refer to. Also, here are some nice online resources and video tutorials to, to implement the methods in R. Okay, now we have gone through the fundamentals about NCA. Let's move on to NCA and PLS SEM and the two different logics 